Hi, I'm Toy Johnson Vincent, your no sugar coating coach. I'm a motivational speaker and a certified life coach. I hope you're doing well today. Today, I just wanted to talk a bit about just basically do not give up. Again, even when you think your career may be headed in a whole different direction than what you anticipated, you know something, you need to dust yourself off a bit regroup, refocus, and then just do what you do naturally, and that is progress. So I know you what you're saying. You're saying, wow, it's harder to do. Um, it's easy to say, but hard to do. Well, again, that starts with the mindset. Again, you probably have heard tons, hundreds, thousands, perhaps, speakers that say, it's just about how you think. It's just about your mindset. Well, guess what? As a motivational speaker and now a certified life coach, believe you me, it really is true. It's something to be said for what you think or how you think from the time you get up in the morning and from the time you go to sleep at night. What are your thoughts? If you're stressed, then you wake up in the morning, perhaps what happens? Now you're stressed out about something about your job, about something that's going on within your life other than your job. We have personal things going on, family things going on. But at the end of the day, if you're not healthy, you again, your mindset, you want to be healthy there. And of course, internally, just how you feel in general, all of that can be projected onto the outcome of your success. So let's just take it from step one. For example, you know you have everything planned. You perhaps had an interview scheduled. Again, I speak a lot on career development and life skill journey topics. So I'm just using this as a prime example regarding career. You had a scheduled interview planned. You had everything laid out. You knew the mission of the company, all of those great things. And then there perhaps was a delay um, on your end or either on someone else's end or the opposite, right? So what do you do? You don't stress about it, right? Because remember, you were already had everything in line. So why should you start stressing at that point? No, you have to just go with it. Go with your gut feeling of just calming down. How can you relax, even if it is before that interview that you anticipated? Well, here's a couple of things you could do. Make sure, number one, you did your homework the night before or the day before so that you will go into that interview with everything you have and that the people who are actually interviewing you, they can tell that you really do have your A and if it's about me, I always say my A plus game, right? Because again, you have to feel great about yourself, pat yourself on the back before someone else will actually give you credit, correct? So again, but it starts with the mindset. So if your mindset is that you will fail today or you won't do as well on the interview as you thought you would, then nine times out of 10, that's probably going to happen. I just hate to say it, but I have to. Now. Moving on, let's just go into the next segment. So as we move into um, the next phase in terms of just really where you wanna figure things out, not getting frustrated and whatever is going on. And as an example, again, um, for the interview process, you basically, once you realize that you have everything down from the night before, or the day before that we talked about briefly, um, then you should be able to move into the next phase of your successful um, interview. And again, that's just as an example, or perhaps it's a business meeting and you wanna make sure that you are already prepared. But again, you also, when you're preparing for things, you need to also prepare in the event that something doesn't go well. Perhaps it's a technical issue a lot of us are using video and, and streaming and live and um, all of these other different products out there that um, people are conducting business because, again, everything is 
mobile now, or at least a lot of the devices are mobile and that's how we do business. That's how we um, work it as well as in the field of education. So if you're having a class or a classroom situation, a lot of times you're not really, you know, with the class itself in person, but you're actually um, doing something online. So at any event, that's a whole lot of things to say about technology, because as much as we love technology, sometimes um, it just may not be the friendliest <laughs> user of the of the uh, bunch, so they will. But at any rate, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you shouldn't have to really worry and again stress. That's really the whole point, folks. Um, if you think about it, the more prepared uh, you are, the better the outcome. And I'll say it again: the more prepared you are in anything that you do, whether it's in life, your personal life, your educational life your career life, okay? And what I mean by life, I mean the journey because everything you do, it is a journey. And hopefully at the end of the goal as a certified life coach, I like to really help ne people navigate their career and or their life journey. And a lot of times and oftentimes it spills into both. So I've said this before, prepare, prepare, prepare. You can never have enough preparation for whatever it is you need to do in life. So um, now if we're going to just move in just a little bit more uh, before closing, in terms of getting the best outcome of anything, okay, say for example that you've decided you are going to uh, take a trip. Perhaps it's a family vacation, and these days we talk a lot about staycation. So you sort of stay close to home, but you're not really at home. And then there is the real creativity when there are some families that decide, uh, absolutely, we're not only going to, um, you know, <clears throat> stay close to home, but you set up things like a tent or something like that in the backyard and then you decide we're just going to do this as a family and be home. Nothing wrong with that. In fact, it's something that's very encouraging to keep families together, talk about things that, you know, when you're not um, in a rush, so to speak. So I said all of that to say this. Sometimes we're rushing to get that success, right? You rush, you just need to make sure you have it all and you have it all today. And it may not be coming as fast as you like. Trust me, I know, because for me, um, I'm always looking for what's the next level of success. How do I get to that next level? That's something that's very passionate to me. And um, the way that I think about things, I sort of, you know, put them in little departments or compartmentalize, if you will, and say, hey, maybe I'll work on this today. That will get me closer to the main goal. Work on something else, get me closer to another goal. And then when I add it all up, I'm happy. I'm a really, I'm really good and a happy person place, if you will, <laughs> because I know that the challenge was really just all about being prepared in all areas of my life and as much as I could, of course, because there are just some unforeseen things that can and will happen. So whether, again, just as a summary, if it's in your career or something's going on in your educational life, personal life, or your life journey in general just didn't work out the way you thought it was, guess what? Regroup, refocus, and really just have the mindset of being positive, okay? You got to start right here. That's where it always starts, right here in the mind. It does. Um, and then how you feel about whatever's going on that day, you can turn those things around, turn those negatives into a positive, you know, pick up the phone, talk to someone, get it all out, talk about what's frustrating you. Is it your job? Is it family? And sometimes it is, you know, um, is it really personal that you don't want to discuss it with anyone, but you do need to have a sit down and breathe even if it just means taking a few minutes to yourself um, throughout the day um, and, and just, just do nothing, okay? So as you're being still, some things are probably going to, you know, they're going to come at you and you're going to say, okay, now I know. I sit back and I think about it and think about it some more and now I'm ready to tackle whatever it is because you know something? Again, it is your journey. Not someone else's, it's your journey. 
as a certified life coach, I'm here to help you and or your team, organizational, corporate, etc., to navigate your career and or life skills journey. So want to learn more about me? I hope you enjoyed the video today. And if you're catching this on the rewind, please definitely you want to subscribe to my uh, YouTube uh, channel. Uh, most of my videos are out there. But the first thing you want to do is really go to my website again to learn more about me, my bio and some pictures and everything about from events, etc. And if you have an upcoming event, please Make sure I'm on that list of invites, right? To speak and inspire. I'm Toy Johnson Vincent, the No Sugar Coding Coach, www.tjv empowers you, the letter U.com. Again, www.tjv empowers you, the letter U.com. I look forward to your next event. Have a great day.